Dear viewers, wishing you a very happy Diwali. Myself, Dr. Priyanka Sampath, on behalf of Ayur Birla Ayurveda, welcomes you all. Today, we will be having a small discussion regarding Rutucharya and lifestyle changes. Basically, uh, what is Rutucharya? We need to understand that first. Rutu means season and Charya means adaptation. Basically, to understand the whole concept, we just have to understand the basics of Ayurveda. For that, I will explain you only three doshas which we have considered in Ayurveda. That is the Vat, Pitta, Kaf. These three are the entities, the main entities in Ayurveda. Vat which controls the movements of the body, Pitta which controls the energy conversion in the body and the heat content of the body and Kaf which contains the which is responsible for the stability of the body. So today we are discussing about what adaptations have to be made regarding the uh, season. As the season changes, what changes do we have to make? Why is Rutucharya understanding and why is the lifestyle adaptations necessary rather? We have that question always in the mind. That's because according to WHO, India today is actually facing highest number of lifestyle disorders. And if we fail to maintain the homeostasis between ourselves and the nature, we will not be able to survive a good high lifestyle, healthy rather lifestyle ahead and we will be facing n number of diseases, lifestyle disorders like obesity, weight gain, diabetes and, and etc and etc. So then we have to understand that we cannot follow the same routine or the same lifestyle throughout the 12 months. So we have to adapt according to it. So basically let us understand which rutus like, like which seasons are considered according to Ayurveda. Ayurveda has basically classified seasons according to uh, months like in January we consider January February we consider as Shishi Rutu followed by Vasant Rutu then we have we have uh, Grishma Rutu then it's Varsha Rutu and then comes the Sharad Rutu which actually places now in September and October which is the main topic of the discussion what we are going to talk about ahead so then uh, which each Rutu has specific conditions changes and then we have to take care what doshas are getting changed during this conditions. So then we have to maintain this homeostasis with the, according to the doshas. <clears throat> Even nature follows the same rule. Nature follows the same rule like uh, we cannot have the same fruit throughout the year. Like seasonal fruit concept is adapted that way. Now specifically we will be talking about Sharad Rutucharya. Sharad Rutucharya as in the adaptations to be made during October, September, October, September to October time. What exactly happens during Sharad Rutucharya is Pitta aggravates in the body. Pitta aggravates as in the heat in the body, the heat in the mind, the heat physically, mentally, everything increases. Even that, then the blood impurities are increased in the body. So then we have to adapt according to that. The doshas in the body increase. So what we have to understand is three ways. First, we have to take care of the food habits. Secondly, we have to take care of the lifestyle. Thirdly, behavior. And fourthly, we have to take, take care of the detoxification of the body or we have to follow some regime and panchkarma therapies. <clears throat> See what happens, what food has to, be take, uh, has to be eaten. So then food, the main properties of the food which have to be taken, the food habits should be, they should be sweet in taste, astringent in taste. Secondly, the food should be cold in potency and very light to digest. Now, cold in potency does not exactly mean you should be having refrigerated water. That does not mean cold potency. Basically, cold potency means which are going to cool down the body, are going to pacify the heat in the body. That means chandan, ushir, such types of dravyas we can use for the calming of the body. Then which other dravyas are used, which other herbs are used? I'll let you know. Milk, milk products, ghee, makhan, uh, vegetables like patol, that parval, what we call honey. These are specifically used during that. Fruits like amilki, promoganates are to be used. Then uh, one more thing, even water. There is a concept called as hansodak. Now what is hansodak? Hansodak specifically is a very varied term in Ayurveda which we are not at all aware of. Hansodak is basically a water which is heated by the sun and then cooled uh, with the moonlight which is specifically considered to be healthy for consumption 
but these days uh, due to the pollution and everything we are not able to consume that kind of water so at least whatever water we are drinking we can fortify it with calming drugs like ushir wada what is it's called as maybe chandan we can uh, purify the water Spe specifically in kerala uh, people have a tendency of changing the water according to the season they serve you that kind of a water for every season so then you have to adapt to that kind of a thing that makes it for the food what lifestyle can be adapted basically you have to wear light clothes you have to wear fresh and clean clothes because you know it's very heaty type of a climate so you tend to lose your temperature quick you feel irritated fast so then you have to keep your mind calm you have to stay in a very calm environment your surroundings should be calm you should be in a greenery environment App application of lepam of or application of herbs which are again cooling like chandan lepam you must have noticed people applying chandan here so then it helps in calming the mind that is very important because in heat season we generally tend to lose the temperature easily not going excessively under the under afternoon sun you can actually stay under the early evening moonlight so that to make your body calm but try and not stay in the late moonlight because again that vitiates the kapha dosh in the body but what happens no matter how hard we try practically it sometimes becomes difficult for the for the human being to adapt to all these changes to adapt to all the lifestyle changes so then what has to be done that's the main question now we have already understood the lifestyle what has to be adapted but somehow practically in the offices and when you have a job like people have marketing job where people have to travel people have to stay back at night so how do people deal with it so then there comes the point of the ayurveda doctors which actually know this concept of seasonal changes so then then what we have to do that whenever you have such kind of pathology specifically in this season the diseases which come up which erupt mainly are the skin diseases are the acidity problems the headaches the burning burning micturation such kind of things generally erupt during this season so what can we do you have to basically first and first of all do not take any over the counter pills directly approach an ayurvedic doctor he will actually explain you how it has to be done <clears throat> medications there are n number of medications which are available i won't name them because that is actually depending upon the doctors who might prescribe you other than that there are some detoxification therapies like panchkarma therapies are given as the doshas vitiate during that like i told you pitta and rakta that like pitta the acid content the heat content of the body is disturbed and there are blood impurities during sharad rutu sharad rutu the october time so then there are some specific panchkarma or ayurvedic therapies which work exactly opposite to it like we have some therapies called as virechana what exactly we do in virechana is we have medicated ghee which is medicated is given ghee is given for few days 5 days to 7 days approximately depending upon the bala of the patient like the strength of the patient if he is able to take it or no so then that is decided by the doctor again the medicated ghee is given after that after that 3 days is the massage um, abhyangam and steam the body massage and the steam the whole purpose of giving ghee and abhyangam is such that the toxins which are spread in the whole body are collected and accumulated in the abdomen which is followed by a steam given so that the toxins liquefy and come to the abdomen right so then one day is the virechan day where med medications are given to the patient and then he has loose motion it depends upon again it depends upon the strength of the patient he gets loose motions and thus the whole uh, body is detoxified which is followed by very light food which again helps to clean keep the body clean and to increase the uh, digestive power so then virechana is a very very important thing which is generally done during sharad rutu charya then the second thing which is adopted is rakta mokshan rakta mokshan is also called as blood letting wherein we do it generally with uh, two types of ways it's either done through jaloka avcharan that's the leech therapy or maybe it can be done <coughs> through sira ved which is used uh, blood letting from directly the veins uh, if it's a local thing if it's pain if it's redness we generally use a leech or if it's the whole body thing we generally use a this thing uh, scalpel so then rakta mokshan is generally given to detoxify the blood toxins 
other than these there are n number of other ayurvedic therapies like we have lepams different lep are applied uptans there are dhara kashaya dharas shir dhara that is the medicated milk dhara and such therapies even talpotechil like people having severe headaches we have talpotechil wherein we apply a paste of herbs there which is covered with uh, leaves which again helps to calm, calm down the mind this all is taken care through the ayurvedic manner but to do anything of these you can definitely visit any of our centers we will be very happy to guide you ahead concluding this i'll just brief up with what you don't have to do at all during this season in charat rutucharya having excessive of spicy food sour food salty food is at all is not advised at all one more thing you don't have to have is sour acidic food basically you need to understand the alkinity and the acidity of the food content which you are trying to have you know so then it becomes easy to understand what things you can have and what things you can't have having excessive masala food having excessive non veg food uh, staying awake late at night sleeping immediately after the food which again disturbs the digestive fire so then you don't have to do anything of this because there are some vitiation of doshas which we have to uh, take care in mind and then follow like uh, people having excessive of alcohol act, uh, alcohol or maybe smoking which again aggravates the heat in the body are not at all advised during this season overeating and such things are not advised so then i conclude my lecture here in case if you have any doubts any queries you can definitely ask me here itself in the blog ahead you can visit any of our centers we almost have nine centers in bombay we have centers in nasik we have centers in bangalore you can definitely get in contact with any of our centers any of our doctors will be very uh, happy to help you and in any case you can get back to us thanks a lot